welcome to its traffic in this video I am going to explain question number 5 of chapter 1 so how you will find out the answer the question is how many 16 port switches are required to connect 31 computers in a network and uh, the hint is given is to connect all the computers all the switches also should be connected among themselves now suppose I am taking only two switches and uh, normally switches are lo look like this I am showing you here a real switch so here we can in connect only 16 computers in one switch so you can see here there are 16 points through which we can connect the computers now the switches also have to be connected within them so that all connected connect together so our position will be like that suppose this is my switch 1 from switch 1 I am connecting 16 number port to switch 2 16 number port that means already my two ports ports are blocked now how many ports will left like from switch 1 we left uh, 15 ports from switch 1 we have 15 ports and from switch 2 again our 16 port is already blocked so we have again 15 ports so we can connect maximum how many computers if we add both 15 plus 15 30 computers but in our network we have 31 computers so we have to come connect that particular one computer also to the network for that what happens will require another switch now we want to connect the switch 3 also with switch 1 and 2 then what we will do we will have to take 15 number port of switch 2 so what we will do we will join it from a 15 number port this 15 number port into here 16 number port that means from switch 1 and switch 2 we can connect maximum 20 number of computers and uh, two computer two more computer will left that we will can connect to the switch 3 that's why we will require total three number of switches to connect 31 computers in a network because all the switches also have to be connected among themselves that's why otherwise if we should not connect them uh, sw the switches among themselves then just two switches can do but as we have to connect the switches also among themselves so we will already have two ports reserved so we will left only 30 ports that's why we need one more switch so that we can connect the remaining computers i hope you have understood the answer and uh, other questions i already given you can watch that video and if you like my explanation please subscribe and also like and share the video thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye